Thank you. Thank you, sir. Can I have the pointer, please? Somebody from the team, please, sir, wants pointer. OK. Good afternoon, everyone. <coughs> Thank you for joining. So I'll be talking about busting insulin myths, how to bridge the gap between patients and doctors. So this is a very uh, practical session, very clinical. Basically, I'll be talking how I deal with my patients. When a patient is in front of you, you want to initiate insulin. What are the issues that go through the patient's mind and how we should try and handle them? Yeah, so outline of my talk. So we'll uh, look at some myths and facts about insulin. We'll look at some patient factors. look at uh, patient and physician factors, and then we'll look at uh, what advantage can early and timely insulin initiation can do in a practice. Doctor, I don't want to start insulin now. So not an uncommon statement which we hear whenever we see a patient who's on oral agents, a uh, patient may be newly diagnosed diabetes with glucose levels of 300, 400, 500, with an even C of 11, 12, 14, or patient may have diabetes for years, you know, uncontrolled diabetes, eight to 9% A1C, on three, four, or five oral agents. But uh, you know, when you talk about insulin, this will be a very common. Uh, <coughs> Thank, you. Thank you. This will be a very, very common statement which we hear from our patients. So how do we do it? So basically, before going into all that, I want to just impress with this one slide that diet and lifestyle measures, like walking, exercise, yoga, who can do, are the most important part of type 2 diabetes management. And without this, whatever uh, oral agents you give, whatever insulin you give, whichever dose you give, it is not going to work on a sustainable uh, uh, you know, level. You might get good A1C or good glucose levels next time. But when you talk about 5 years, 10 years, 20 years control, uh, the importance of diet and uh, lifestyle measures is, uh, is uh, very, very understated. And that can never be replaced by medications. So what are the challenges of managing diabetes in uh, India? So Indian realities of diabetes management, high carb diet. Of course, we all know uh, the kind of diet we have, you know, starting from breakfast, whichever region you go. I'm from Mumbai, you know, Western, uh, of course, Gujarat also in the West. You go south, look at the kind of breakfast we have. You go north, you know, parathas and all that. So whichever region you go in the east, you know, the amount of rice uh, uh, we eat there. So, uh, you know, it's important to un understand the cultural background of our patients go through their diet part also. Of course, we refer to dietitian many times, but uh, when as a doctor or as a physician, we talk to the patient, I feel that has a different impact on the patient. Dietitian might see the patient for 30 minutes, give them a diet chart, tick, 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 breakfast, mein ye khana hai, lunch, mein ye. but five or six things, if I tell the patient, you know, that can have a very, very important impact. And I feel, you know, patient will take that home in a much better manner. Hai, jase breakfast, mein, you know, in Mumbai, many people are into quick meals. Jase breakfast, mein kya lete hai? sir, teen bread khata hon, aur do biscuit khata hon, aur chai pita hon. Now, bread and biscuit, which has refined flour, you know, with, uh, with sugar and with palm oil and all that, that cannot be your breakfast. So many patients don't know that is unhealthy. So, you know, you tell them this one thing that avoid that and then give them an option ki iske jage kya khana hai. So these small, small changes go a long way, I feel. Shaam ko bhook lagti hai, Mumbai, you know, bada pao hai, ya bahar ja ke sandwich kha liya, ya, you know, something like samosa kha liya, kachori. Yaha pe bhi mein dekh raha hu, you know, khaman dhokla, jalebi. Even I had jalebi yesterday, you know, I was out. So, you know, once in a while it's okay, but on a regular basis, what our patients eat is very, very important because high carb diet will affect the post panel glucose levels much more in our Asian patients compared to the Western population. So this is very, very important. Patients uncontrolled on multiple oral agents. I was attending some sessions before lunch in the next hall, and you know, they were showing how uh, multiple oral agents patients on three drugs, four drugs, five drugs, and not started on insulin, inertia of five years, seven years, and so on. You know, when insulin is indicated, but because of inertia, you know, patient inertia as well as doctor's inertia, we don't start insulin on time. And patient A1C keeps staying high, and uh, the complications that can induce micro as well as macrovascular. Limited consultation time, this is very, very important. And, uh, you know, I understand the number of patients some of us see in a day. So, you know, uh, in Mumbai, I know doctors who see 100 patients in a day in diabetes OPD, specialists, 80 patients, 100 patients. I see 14, 15 patients and that's all. You know, I give my time slots that way and I don't see more than that, you know, if, if uh, no, then no. So that amount of time you can give to the patient, 
talk to the patient as i said understand about the cultural background where they are from who cooks the food you know where do they get their breakfast from lunch what is snacking in between ye sab cheeze jab pehli baar discuss apna agar acche se kare that can have a very long standing effect and uh, very important to get results so giving time to patients uh, especially in a chronic disease like diabetes addressing the social cultural issues are they walking are they exercising if not then what are the issues you know uh, do they have other difficulties uh, economical uh, issues as well you know like we are coming out of covid pandemic a lot of patients have issues you know you see a patient who is unemployed and he is on a drug which costs 50 rupees per day and you know ki uska ek generic version bhi aa gaya hai jo 8 rupees ya 10 rupees ka hai to you know patient ko likha hai kisi doctor ne to chalu hai patient leta rahega but it is our job to look into the cost factor also for our patients those who can afford good of course we right but those who cannot changing them to cheaper drugs which we are so fortunate in india i have worked in singapore for 7 years i working in india since 2019 drugs there are very very expensive so you know a drug like any gliptin or any uh, aglt2 inhibitor for that matter that costs around 3 dollars in singapore which converted to indian rupees is around 165 rupees so koi bhi gliflozin denge ya koi bhi gliptin denge 155 rupees in terms of dollars so wahan pe if i want to start that drug to a taxi driver for example you know i used to see these patients there in singapore they say you know you cannot start the, i cannot pay for this jo government se subsidized hai wo dijiye in india if agar hath gaadi wala bhi aata hai usko apne bolne ki 10 rupaye ka ek dawai hai jo aapko fayda dega jisse aapka wazan kam hoga aur aap ye leje hi bhi lag rahi so you know we are very very fortunate to get these drugs at uh, much cheaper cost and the cardiac benefit the weight and other things so it's important to understand the background and then start or even stop certain drugs which goes a long way need for convenience of course when we talk about insulin convenience is a major factor so you know we have to understand about that as well ki patient kya time pe insulin lagayenge din mein ek bar ya do bar ya teen bar de sakte hain ki nahi raat ko dena hai patient ka night duty hai to kab dena hai you know previously patient already on insulin when is the hypo happening and it's just the time that way so we look at few myths <coughs> डॉक्टर स्टार्टिंग इंसुलिन मीन्स आई एम अ फेलियर पेशेंट को जैसे ही अपन ने इंसुलिन के बारे में बताया वी टॉक अबाउट इंसुलिन पेशेंट के मन में एक बात आती है कि इट्स द लास्ट स्टेज ऑफ इंसुलिन इंसुलिन आया मतलब अब आई एम अ फेलियर मैंने कुछ गलत किया है या नहीं कर पाया इसलिए सो पी हैव टू एक्सप्लेन टू द पेशेंट दैट दिस इज टाइप टू डायबिटीज वॉट इज इट्स नेचुरल हिस्ट्री हाउ डज इट वर्क एंड इट्स नॉट दैट पेशेंट हैज फेल्ड और समथिंग हैज फेल्ड patient many patients who have diabetes for 5 7 8 10 years they have something called as secondary sulfonylurea failure which means they've been on sulfonylurea as wonderful drugs for a long period of time but now somehow these drugs are not working which is called as secondary sulfonylurea because the beta cells have exhausted and talk about glucotoxicity so many a times you know we don't need to give insulin for a long period patients with high glucose levels where four five agents are not working oral agents you give them insulin for a short period and you find ki suddenly the glucose levels come down and then you may be able to cut down and even stop insulin in many patients so explain to them about glucotoxicity when you explain them these simple in, in simple terms you know do to panch minute lagta hai but then patient is more acceptable ki bhai kyon de rahe insulin and kab tak dena hai aur kya karna hai कुछ पेशेंट सोचते हैं कि इंसुलिन डज नॉट वर्क कि नहीं सर इंसुलिन से तो काम नहीं होता है आप टैबलेट ही दो मेरे को तो वी हैव टू एक्सप्लेन टू देम कि दिस मिथ कम्स फ्रॉम पेशेंट्स हु डोंट फॉलो प्रॉपर टाइमिंग्स एंड डोसेज यू नो उन्होंने सुना होगा कि नहीं मेरे फ्रेंड को चालू किया लेकिन काम नहीं हुआ बाद में किडनी फेल हो गया या कुछ भी यू नो सो दोज दोज मिथ्स आर फ्लोटिंग अराउंड अ लॉट सो यू हैव टू एक्सप्लेन टू दैम एंड डायबिटीज इज मोर ऑफ एन इंसुलिन प्रॉब्लम इंसुलिन इज अ हॉर्मोन विच आर बॉडी प्रोड्यूस तो पेशेंट को बताना है कि बाहर से इंजेक्शन से दे रहे हैं बट आपके बॉडी में ही बनता है बट एज ऑफ नाउ इट इज नॉट वर्किंग वेल और देर इज इंसुलिन रेजिस्टेंस एंड दैट इज वाई वी नीड टू स्टार्ट समथिंग लाइक दिस एंड ऑफ कोर्स देर इज नो क्वेश्चन इंसुलिन इज वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इफेक्टिव थेरापीज फॉर लोअलिंग ब्लड ग्लूकोज लेवल्स something about insulin physiology in simple terms i'm talking from the patient perspective so tell them ki how our own insulin works you know as basal and bolus so normally secreted basal between meals and at night times and the meal related peaks whenever we eat how our body secretes insulin uh, looking in terms of a1c reduction we all know insulin is the most potent and most effective drug we have can give us an a1c reduction of almost 3.5% by itself and the other oral agents and lifestyle of course more than 2% so combining lifestyle combining metformin and insulin you add them up so becomes you know 2 plus 2 4 and 7 so 14 se 7 kaise aata hai you know that is how it comes aap sirf lifestyle metformin aur insulin chalu karenge a1c 14 hai you know within a 2 to 3 months or 4 months 5 months you can get it down to uh, you know 7% or even lower because lifestyle and metformin in a newly diagnosed diabetes i'm talking about you know these drugs uh, work very very well of course now we have a uh, some wonderful oral agents which we are not discussing in this session but of course they have a very important role as well insulin causes kidney failure this is again a very very important myth what patients think you know and uh, how that comes is you know i thought a lot i asked the patients ki nahi kyun aapko aisa lagta hai to many times their reasoning is ki sir wo mere friend ko diabetes tha 10 saal se usko 10 saal tak insulin usne chalu nahi kiya but jaise hi chalu kiya 6 mahine mein uska dialysis chalu ho gaya to now we all know the reason ki 10 saal se diabetes tha a1c was 8 9 10 
doctors are telling him start insulin start he doesn't start and then we then he starts creat is rising then he starts and of course ckd is going to happen so patients ko lagta hai ki nahi insulin se uh, you know ckd ho gaya ya dialysis ho gaya ya mi ho gaya that is not the case you know so we have to explain to them insulin is so safe you know in fact that's the high glucose which is causing ckd or renal disease and not insulin by itself so dialysis is what you know patients ke mind pe it plays so explaining them health and insulin is absolutely safe insulin causes weight gain so this is not myth as such you know we all know different insulins we have most of them uh, will lead to some uh, some weight gain newer uh, generation basal insulins will uh, cause lesser weight gain and hypoglycemia also is an important factor so weight gain has relation to hypoglycemia many patients you write down a dose call them after 15 days you know sugar was 200 it comes down to 60 70 80 patient continues to inject that dose and then hypo hota hai then you know they end up eating sweet or sugar or you know so that also can lead to weight gain so it's important to adjust the dose explain to them about hypo I have explained to them about dose titration. कि आपका अगर इतना शुगर आ गया, तो we have to cut down the dose because many times we see with diet, lifestyle, and you know some of these drugs, patient will get very good glucose levels very fast. So cutting down the dose will not cause hypo. So patient will not feel that hungry, and that can you know help us control the weight. And of course, uh, on insulin, role of diet and exercise becomes even more important. The timing. You know, I have a, a girl. Of course, she's type one, but again, on insulin. So uh, she, you know, she does those uh, uh, some ballet or some dancing and all, and she has hypo during the episode. So you know, I have explained to her that she, she has to check her glucose level before starting that exercise or dancing, and also sometimes mid exercise. You know, even in between, and take a snack depending on her glucose level. Because if she has hypo, then she ends up eating a sweetened drink, and that can affect. So these things we have to explain to the patients who are on insulin, even during exercise when they are going for a run, keeping something sweet with them when they are out, so that hypoglycemia can be avoided. Avoided or treated. Insulin injections are painful and difficult. So you know, I always keep uh, insulin devices with me. You know, two or three pens and even the syringes, so that when the patient is there, I I show them what kind of devices we have, how small the needles are, so that they understand they are small, and you know, it, it gives them more confidence. And in fact, patients also tell me, no, finger prick is uh, more painful than injecting insulin. You know, nowadays. so you know uh, patient can think it is complicated uh, time consuming we are talking about the vial and syringe but now with the modern delivery devices it has become so easy and uh, patients can uh, use them more comfortably so you know earlier it used to take a lot of time and effort to convince patients but now as we have discussed in the previous slides insulin physiology we can explain to the patients efficacy safety and with the pens uh, easy administration also can be explained so some other myths patients would think that uh, no insulin to nahi le sakte i am a working personnel or i travel and it can make uh, the timings can be rigid so now with the basal insulin especially the newer ones timings can be very flexible you know we know understand the newer basal insulins uh, we can give them plus minus 3 to 4 hours here and there so you know if uh, you fix the timing as bed time or pre dinner you know pre dinner insulin patient has gone out for a party he can come back and inject that at 12 uh, midnight also after coming back or before going he can inject at 5 pm so that flexibility these insulins give diet gets stricter that is also not true of course appropriate diet is important but that's not so true and exercise to be regulated also is not true in fact we will regulate the dose according to the patient's activity many patients you know they keep the same dose but then adjust their activity or stop exercising ki exercise se hypo ho jata hai so you know so those things also we have to explain to the patient that goes a long way and help address the barriers for uh, insulin treatment risk of hypoglycemia is real but again uh, less with newer agents we have to teach the symptoms signs prevention and treatment to all our diabetes patients whether oral agents or insulin and that's where the time uh, uh, plays a role the time we give to the patient once started insulin i have to take life long so again um, it might be their experience with family member mere ghar mein uncle hain wo to 20 saal se le rahe hain 15 saal se reh rahe hain so patient who has a1c of 14 he will be resistant to insulin so you know you talk to him it's not like that let me start it for a few months get your a1c down and you know when you address diet exercise and everything we will be surprised that in how many patients we can stop insulin very very soon we're talking about type 2 diabetes early early patients you know those whose diet and exercise is not controlled so you know it can be surprising sometimes for us also timely initiation is the key you know you delay 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 patient will say ki sir is bar to abhi uh you know ganpati tha ya bhi diwali tha or i was traveling for 7 days ya ek mahine gaon tha they will have reasons every month but you know we need to address that and you know starting it getting the a1c down and getting the oral agents uh, back again or adjusting them you know uh, we are able to stop insulin a lot of patients when started at the right time in the right patient diet and lifestyle as i mentioned weight reduction is very very important nowadays we talk about diabetes remission which comes from weight reduction so you know depending on the obesity or uh, uh, you know weight of the patient or overweight working on weight reduction with drugs with exercise uh, can go a long way in helping us stop the insulin 
cost, of course, diabetes is an expensive disease to treat with medicines. We must explain it's a lifestyle disease. But then when cost of insulin comes into play, you know, we have multiple insulin. We have cheap insulin also. As I said, we are very lucky in India to have a, a variety of choices which we can choose from. So, but then you have to explain to the patient cost of complications versus uncontrolled diabetes. You know, simple thing what I'll tell the patient whose A1C is high and who has cardiovascular risk factors, just ask them what is the cost of putting two stents in a cardiology unit when he has an MI at 2 a.m. Two at night. You know, patients know, patients ko sub cost malum hai, you know, to immediately strikes them, you know, cost of MI versus cost of insulin or cost of managing diabetes, they will understand much, much better. You know, cost of dialysis, apart from the suffering, you know, the cost is also an important factor, so explaining that uh, helps us a lot. And then, of course, it's important to choose insulin based on patient affordability. You start an insulin costing 2,500 rupees in someone who cannot afford it is wrong. You know, patient will not come back to you or stop the insulin. We have insulin pens of 400, 500 rupees also or insulin vial of 200 rupees also. So, you know, choose the insulin uh, perfectly. Insulin means my life will change, patients think. Patients think they cannot travel, they cannot live alone, they cannot eat out. It's not true also. You know, life does change, but I feel it changes for the better. So uh, these are a few uh, patient uh, cited issues with insulin that diabetes will control their life. In fact, uh, not true. Insulin regimen can be restrictive also we have discussed. Hard to live normal life, no. With your appropriate control, you can live normal life. You know, number of daily injections, we can always adjust and titrate. And taking insulin at prescribed times or meals, we can be flexible with that also. So these are a few patient and physician barriers. So patient barriers, fear of injections, fear of needles, we try to address, address uh, negative misconceptions about initiating insulin, inconvenience, and you know, fear of hypoglycemia is a factor which is common to both patient and us doctors also. I'm always afraid of hypoglycemia when I start insulin to any of my patients. So I'll explain to them the symptoms. I will ask them to keep something sweet or you know, some tablets or biscuit or something with them if they have hypo on the train or in the bus or while driving. You know, so those things are important and time constraints, as I said, to give time to the patient for the first time when you talk about drugs is very, very important. And hypoglycemia, as I said, were, you know, uh, continues to be the main obstacle. But then we, we should understand, as long as it is explained to the patients, it is covered you tell them the symptoms or relatives you know uh, it's it's uh, not that uh, serious an event and some patients might miss doses so we need to find out why they are missing doses like traveling busy you know challenging to take at the same time and so on and then address that and uh, so reluctance uh, from the healthcare uh, uh, practitioners so explaining that insulin can help uh, control diabetes demonstrating them the process establishing establishing trust with the patient so by talking by giving them time you establish a rapport which helps and goes a long way being available for support or questions and uh, explaining that insulin injection is easy so rationale for early initiation of insulin overcoming glucotoxicity facilitating beta cell rest preserving beta cell mass and improving insulin sensitivity so these are a few technical things which help in the early initiation and apart from that has insulin has anti-inflammatory and antioxidant properties and may protect against endothelial dysfunction and uh, what is the evidence for early glycemic control? So we know glucotoxicity, beta cell dysfunction, and insulin resistance. And last couple of slides. So just ending by showing the UKPDS. We all know about this, but 5,000 patients, newly diagnosed type 2 diabetes, 10 years follow-up. Starting insulin, uh, starting A1C 9.1, and after 10 years when they compared the intensive versus the control group, 7.9 versus 7, what basically we found is poor control in earlier stages of diabetes can lead to complications later, even if glucose control is improved later. So basically, we talk about early initiation, early control, you know, legacy effect of metabolic memory. This is so important because of the, you know, microvascular and macrovascular reduction. We've heard these figures uh, each time. So early control is so important so that, you know, later on patient gets the benefit. And uh, so take home messages, achieving uh, target M1C is global unmet need, type 2 diabetes is a progressive disease, timely insulin initiation, and demystifying all myths and spending time with patients. Thank you.